DP300, Microsoft Azure Database Certification, Troubleshooting Query Performance. Troubleshoot query performance by first identifying the problematic query, typically the query consuming the highest amount of system resources, and then retrieve that query's execution plan. There are two scenarios, query performs poorly caused by hardware constraints, suboptimal query structure, database compatibility setting, missing indexes or poor plan choice by query optimizer. The second scenario is that the query performs well for some executions, but not others. This problem can be caused by a few other factors, the most common being data skew in a parameterized query that has an efficient plan for some executions, and a poor one for other executions. The other common factors in inconsistent query performance are blocking, where a query is waiting on another query to complete in order to gain access to a table, or hardware contention. Table-valued functions are dynamic and have no statistics. While detecting suboptimal use of row-based operations with cursors or while loops is important, there are other SQL Server anti-patterns that you should be able to recognize. Table-valued functions, TVF, particularly multi-statement table-valued functions, caused problematic execution plan patterns prior to SQL Server 2017. Many developers like to use multi-statement table-valued functions because they can execute multiple queries within a single function and aggregate the results into a single table. However, anyone writing T-SQL code needs to be aware of the possible performance penalties for using TVFs. Intelligent Query Processing in SQL Server 2017 and Azure SQL Database under compatibility levels 140 and 150 have improved the performance. Each database has its own compatibility level, which controls the behavior of the query optimizer for that database. You can manage this setting when upgrading SQL Server to ensure that your queries have similar execution plans to the older version. Microsoft will support running on an older compatibility level for an extended period. You should attempt to move towards newer compatibility levels, as many of the new performance features in Intelligent Query Processing are only available under compatibility level 140 or 150. SQL Server uses a setting called data underscore flush underscore interval underscore seconds to control the frequency of flushing the query stored data to disk. By default, the data is flushed every 15 minutes, but this value is a user configurable setting per database, which enables you to manage the performance overhead of the query store. SQL Server professionals often use files and file groups to improve I.O. performance through physical file placement. Azure SQL Managed Instance supports adding database files and configuring sizes but not physical placement of files. Number of files and file sizes can be used to improve I.O. performance. When a thread is being executed and is forced to wait on an unavailable resource, SQL Server keeps track of these metrics which is available via the dynamic management view sys.dm underscore os underscore weight underscore stats. This information is important to understanding the baseline performance of your database and can help you identify specific performance issues both with query execution and hardware limitations. Identifying the appropriate weight type and corresponding resolution will be critical for resolving performance issues. Weight statistics are available across the Azure SQL platform. Automatic plan correction does look at query plan regressions from the query store and can recommend or fix problems by reverting to a previous good plan. Identifying blocking problem can be troublesome as they can be sporadic in nature. There is a DMV called sys.dm underscore tran underscore locks, 
which can be joined with sys.dm underscore exec underscore requests in order to provide further information on locks that each session is holding. A better way to monitor for blocking problems is to do so on an ongoing basis using the extended events engine. Blocking problems fall into two categories. Poor transactional design. A transaction that has no commit transaction will never end. Trying to do too much work in a single transaction or having a distributed transaction which uses a link server connection can lead to unpredictable performance. Long-running transactions caused by schema design. Frequently, this can be an update on a column with a missing index or poorly designed update query. Monitoring for locking related performance problems allows you to quickly identity performance degradation related to locking. 